Frankenstein, the modern Prometheus, Mary Shelley. Written by Mary Shelley. Narrated by Jeffrey Giuliano and the Icon Players. terrifying, provocative, and mysterious. Here is a classic audiobook which reaches across the waters of time to the inner recesses of the darkest corners of the human mind. Whether or not these are truly horror stories depends on the always fragile state of mind of the attentive listener, but they are dark, often foreboding and delightfully full of dread. Perhaps more than pure horror, they are rather cautionary tales, displaying the depths of immorality, criminality, and insanity which has plagued mankind from time immemorial. Or perhaps they are something more, a frightening window into the unknown, the otherworldly, and the truly evil. One thing for sure, however, this jarring, well-crafted tale of desperation, death, and depravity has the power to rattle the expectant listener to the very core, as well as opening doors that might better stay closed. Dark roads which should not be traveled, and alleyways to misadventure which wander off deep into the weeds of self-doubt and isolation. So join us, please on this unexpected journey into the unknown, which may well lead you into a room full of mirrors. But I warn you, you might not like what you see. But don't worry. I'll be with you. Every step of the way. <laughs> Section 1. Letters 1 to 3. St. Petersburg, December 11th, in an undisclosed year in the 18th century, to Mrs. Saville, England. You will rejoice to hear that no disaster has accompanied the commencement of an enterprise which you have regarded with such evil forebodings. I arrived here yesterday and my first task is to assure my dear sister of my welfare and increasing confidence in the success of my undertaking. I am already far north of London, and as I walk in the streets of Petersburg, I feel a cold northern breeze play upon my cheeks, which braces my nerves and fills me with delight. Do you understand this feeling? This breeze, which has traveled from the regions towards which I am advancing, gives me a foretaste of those icy climes. Inspirited by this wind of promise, my daydreams become more fervent and vivid. I try in vain to be persuaded that the pole is the seat of frost and desolation. It ever presents itself to my imagination as the region of beauty and delight. There, Margaret, the sun is forever visible, its broad disk just skirting the horizon and diffusing a perpetual splendor. There, for with your leave, my sister, I will put some trust in preceding navigators. There, snow and frost are banished, and sailing over a calm sea, we may be... 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?